Hi everyone, I hope that you are doing well. It is GB here from Ink and Babes. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we need to actually set up my binder for the month of August. Uh, we are doing things a little bit different this month. We are simplifying the entire process for my cash stuffing journey. And as you would have seen from previous videos, I showed you that I purchased this planner, this binder from my local dollar store, or it would be Euro store here in um, Ireland. And I also showed you two tutorials on how you can make your own cash envelopes as well as your own cash place holders. So if you missed those two tutorials, definitely after this video, definitely go ahead and watch those videos. They were so much fun to make and I think you're actually going to enjoy making your own. So if that sounds like something you are going to be interested in watching, then definitely keep watching. Okay, so when I purchased this planner, this binder from my local dollar store, there were planner inserts inside here, and so I've taken everything out. Um, if you didn't get to see the video, again, you'll have to watch some of my previous videos that you can um, kind of see, okay? Um, so I've taken everything out. This is actually a planner. So I've taken everything out, and now we're just going to go ahead and set it up. I do believe this is an A6. It's giving me A5 vibes though, so I could be wrong. It could actually be an A5, but I've cut my envelopes and everything for uh, an A6. So again, it's either A5 or A6. Now, I just want to quickly show you this little um, uh, placeholder that I made um, in my other tutorial where I was showing you how to make cash envelopes. Remember, this was one of the oopsies. This was one of those that got like messed up. So what I've done is rather than throw it away, I just laminated it again, added another piece to the back here. Um, I'll just make little notes. Like if I do a bookmark and I want to remember why I came here, I'm just going to write a little note here. And this is already laminated, so I'll be able to reuse this, wipe it off, and then do it again. This little jewelry here that I added on, this is actually an anklet. Um, and I got this from my local... Primark penny store here in Ireland, which I would say was like a Walmart or a Target. So just go to a fashion store. They usually sell these really inexpensive and I just added it on here just to make this look a really like a bit more elegant. So I've made this myself using leftover and I used a little cheap jewelry and this is my bookmark and doesn't it look really elegant? You know, it's like it's giving bougie. All right. So that's my bookmark for my little dollar store and everything here you can make yourself. So I'm gonna slide this to the side here. Um, I have everything that I wanna put into this binder I have here. I'm just gonna rest them right here and I'm gonna explain them as I set up my binder, okay? We're keeping it very, very simple this month. Now I do wanna share that I have um, binders. So this is my sinking fund binder that I was using last month. Okay, and we're as you can see, it's quite thick. It's got a lot of stuff going on in here. And we're gonna get into how we're gonna be doing my sinking funds moving forward. But I will not, during the month of August, I will not be stuffing any sinking funds. I'm actually just gonna be focusing on savings challenges. And the money from my savings challenges will go towards my sinking funds, as well as my savings gold. So I do also have a binder here for my savings challenges. We're gonna be simplifying this. And I do have a binder here for my 30 envelope challenge. We're also going to be simplifying this. So the challenge for this month is, can I actually get away with one binder? Can I do everything in one binder? And we're going to challenge ourselves to see if we can really keep it very minimal, but still elegant, still classy, still luxurious. All right. So this is going to be the front cover page of the inside of my binder. This is vellum paper. I created this design on Canva. Um, I just thought it was nice and feminine. It was very elegant and I printed it and I just kind of cut it down to the side there. And so that's gonna go to the front here. And the reason it's going to the front here is because I have a variety of different envelopes. Some of them have just a plain white and I just, this paper will just fall on top of this and it'll give it a design. And I love doing the white ones simply because I'm not gonna be stuck with an envelope with just one design on it. By doing it this way, guys, you are gonna be able to have multiple designs on your envelopes, just like this. Do you really need to have an envelope with a design on it? Not necessarily. I mean, if you want to, you can do that. But for me, I plan to like change this vellum sheet 
whatever I want to. And so that'll give it a nice little look. Like it's, uh, for an example, you have a bed. Are you gonna throw the whole bed away or are you gonna change the sheets? So essentially, this is my sheet and this is my bed. This is my background for my binder. It's gonna save you a lot of money in the long term, guys. All right, so our first sheet is there, and then our first envelope is here. This is an envelope with a white to the front, and then there's a clear at the back. So any cash that I put inside here, I will see it from the back. We're going to get into how we're going to do all of the cash envelopes as well. All right, so next I made this sheet here. I kind of made a little boo-boo to the end here because these are much thinner than the actual envelopes. As you can see, they didn't have that extra about maybe 0.75 centimeters so i didn't know where to hole punch it these ones work these ones to the top here don't but i'm not gonna waste my paper i'm still gonna put it in here i just have to be careful um so we're just gonna let make sure that these three holes are there and then voila it's okay so when i'm turning my page the, the after i turn my first page i'm gonna see g and g is my the initial of my first name so that's why i say gb gb my name is GB, so this is the G. So I absolutely love seeing that. I feel like I'm a gangster when I see G, so. Anyway, so now we're gonna move on to our envelopes. And this is one of the first ones here that I made. This is the Chanel envelope using the magazine from Chanel. And this has the clear to the front. Let me push our money in. Um, you can see it there. If you hear any background noise, those are my kids, so. I'm a mom of six, so there will most likely always be noise in the video, background noise. Um, more envelopes with the clear to the front. So we're just gonna put these in and see how everything looks. And then if I need to make any changes, I will make the changes afterwards. Um, here are some of the clear envelopes as well. I might just quickly close that up and let's just have a quick flip through. I'm not gonna make this video too long. I don't want you to be sitting here watching me just put envelopes into my binder. So here's how a quick flip through looks. So we open up our binder and we kind of flip through and then when we're ready to do some cash stuffing, we will put the cash in here. We will gently flip through to the other pages and move on to each cash envelope that we see fit. So there we go, clear, 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 boom. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead because I have quite a bit here um, there were two sections in this planner that I decided to add and keep into here. So it's going to be the weekly planner and it has these planner sheets. Again, this came with this binder from the dollar store. And then it also has a section that says notes, daily notes, and it does have days on there. So I decided I would keep them into this planner as well. Um, again, I do have more vellum type inserts that I'm going to be using so it gives it gives my binder some texture um, I do have another one here that says Psst, you're doing amazing so I love being able to see the motivational kind of messages throughout my uh, journey um, more envelopes more Vogue inspired envelopes clear envelopes um, more Chanel more little this is like a mood board type thing notes and then that okay so we're gonna go ahead and fix these into here now we're also going to get into my categories as well as the cash placeholders so just give me a minute to kind of put these into my binder and then i'll be right back Okay, so I have all of the pages of my binders and all of the new envelopes that I made all set up in here. I absolutely love how everything comes together. Now, remember we kind of talked about how I was going to be simplifying everything. So basically, we are going to be using these inserts or these uh, placeholders. Um, previously, my sinking funds binder is this. Now, I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to have all of this cash fit into this one binder because 
we have saving challenges but basically with my sinking funds binder i had a bunch of different categories in here and a lot of them i was using my debit card for so moving forward i'm going to be trying out and see can i actually get away with just three categories okay so for the front part of this binder i have three white envelopes so i have one two and i also have three here okay they all have clear backs um i can flip them around if i want to but i'm not necessarily concerned about that aspect right now so we're going to actually just i've organized the categories uh for each sinking fund so sinking fund one level one level two and level three so for my level one, I am going to go with these four categories here. So gifts, birthdays, my kids, and Christmas. I feel like they all kind of go together. These categories are like categories I would have to like purchase something for or do a gift or something. So I feel like putting all these things together and they, you know, it's for kids, birthdays, gifts, the parties that they go to in Christmas is all about my kids. So I decided that they're going to go into sinking fun level one. Okay. So what I'm going to do is all of these are going to go into this one envelope and I can just take them out and slip the money in between each level, um, each category. So we're just going to go ahead and turn this over and we're going to put all of these placeholders in here and so I now know that this envelope is going to be for my sinking funds now I might need to add a few more clear envelopes as I progress through this see how it works but that's my sinking funds level one we're just going to flip gently over and now we're going to move on to the second white envelope and this is going to be for my sinking funds level two so here is the cash place holder for my second phones level two i have decided to go with these categories so i have family vacation i have vacation i have date night and i have entertainment and so i felt like these three these four categories kind of go together because they involved me going out and doing something active date night could be in and out entertainment could be in and out Vacation could be a staycation or some place that I have to travel. Family vacation could be a staycation or some place that I have to travel. But it does involve some planning and it does involve some sort of doing some sort of activity. So I felt like they complemented each other and these are going to be my, my sinking funds level two. So we'll just go ahead and put all of these into... Oh, this one goes frontwards. So I might need to turn that around. But that's fine. I might turn the other one around just so that when I'm flipping through, I can see it. I just wanted it to be on the opposite side because I have this here. But this G ends up being on that side anyway. Straighten these up just a little bit. And I love them so much. I love putting the placeholders rather than having an envelope. I can always change them when I want to. Okay, so that's our sinking level three, sinking funds level three. Now we're just going to flip over and I have a little message here. I'm constantly attracting new streams of income and financial opportunities. I love this affirmation so much. I decided to keep it and I have a little flower right here. And now we've moved over to, I might do these over because I'm afraid they're going to get torn. Um, now we're moving over to our last white envelope here. And uh, for this one, we are just going to go ahead and um, put in sinking funds level three. So this is my sinking funds level three placeholder. And for this sinking funds, here are the categories. I have my emergency fund. I have miscellaneous. I have one month ahead and I have medical. I felt like these ones are going to take me a little while to build up because they're going to be long-term ones. Med medical, definitely I need to have like thousands um one month ahead it's gonna need thousands emergency fund is gonna need thousands and miscellaneous is for any bills that pop up that i can't currently cover um in my day-to-day -day expenses and i feel like that's gonna need thousands as well so i felt like those could go together for my ck funds level three so we're now just gonna go ahead and uh push them into this one here 
this one. Yeah. Okay. So all of the zinc and funds are done and it's, it's a little bit on the thick side. So I would be concerned when I had to actually put cash in there, how it would all turn out. In fact, what I should possibly do is break down my old binder and then cash stuff them. But I don't want this video to be too long. So we'll do that in another, in another video. Okay. So let me flip over and we have like some sheets here from my weekly planner. Moving over to my next inspirational quote, Psst, you're doing amazing. And then we have another envelope here. Now I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with these envelopes yet. Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do with these. All right. So the 30 envelope challenge, um, we did 30 days of doing different. So I have level one, level two, level three, level four, level five, and level six. So what we're going to do is we're going to put two levels into each one of these envelopes. So that's level one and level two for my savings challenge. This is the 30 envelope savings challenge, which is going to be different to my other ones. So I'm just going to, it's this way, isn't it? So I'm just going to go ahead and push this level. I'm going to flip this around so that I can see it when I open it. Okay, so that's savings level one and two. Then we need savings level three and four. And each day that I save money, I'm just going to color in the dot. Keeping it very simple. Any amount is fine. Just want to be able to save something. So that's my savings level three, two, um, three and four. And then lastly is our savings level five and six. All right, so that's how the savings are looking. So we did our sinking funds. We did our uh, 30 envelope savings challenges. Just gonna flip through uh, this section here. Oh, sorry, budget, save, and repeat. And then this section here is where we're gonna write any notes. And then finally, these envelopes to the back here is what I'm gonna be using for my small saving challenges that I do throughout the week. Um, and then I have another weekly planner here. So all of these are gonna be for saving challenges that I do throughout the week. Okay, so basically we are now done with the seeking funds aspect and then the 30 envelope savings uh, challenge there. And then like I said, to the back here, we're gonna use these to do saving challenges uh, with any extra money that we may have. And so here are the saving challenges that I'm going to be playing during the month of August. If I finish any of these, and I'm in no rush actually, so I'm gonna play these until I'm done and then we'll do a cash stuffing unstuffing and then put them towards my goals um so these are the challenges that i'm gonna try to do i'm not gonna do a lot i'm trying to keep it very simple i already have a lot of challenges but if i finish any of these i do have some extra challenges um in like a little envelope here that i could just pull from so we're definitely going to be doing jackpot dice um this one is mine this one is available on my etsy store check the link down below in the description we're going to be doing one for thanksgiving there's one here for Halloween. There's one here for my vacation um, sinking funds. You'll see that some of them are kind of connected to some of the sinking funds that I have as well. This is going to be for the family vacation sinking funds. Uh, this is one is for Christmas. This one is going to be my birthdays. And then we have some other ones here that I purchased for some Etsy stores. And these are going to go to different, you know, savings goals. Um, the gnomes absolutely love. I have a boho dog. I have a bingo one. I have this little really cute panda one. This was a freebie from Lisa Grateful Me. Um, roll the dice from One Frugal Introvert and a Spiropoly from Spire and To Go on Etsy, which is a German store. Right, so those are the savings challenges and they're gonna go to like in each one of these binders here. So I'm not 100% sure. Some of these are opening, they have clear to the front like that. And then some of them are clear to the back, I do believe. So um, we're just going to go ahead and put all these in there.
so it's already getting a bit thick. I can't imagine how thick it's gonna be when cash is in here. So we'll see how far we make. Um, and it's already kind of difficult. So putting everything into one binder may not actually be realistic. We might have to switch back. But anyway, that is everything for setting up my binder for the month of August. We'll see how we get along. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.